The following may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. One day after police identified 21-year-old Kithisha Kujo as the latest woman to be erased in 2022, someone shot a San Fernando mother of two after she left for work yesterday. Selena Mohammed, 40, died less than 24 hours before her daughter celebrated her 16th birthday. Mohammed had just left her home at Palmist Bend to work at Marine Outboard along Independence Avenue, San Fernando. Police said that at about 8.05 a.m., her silver Nissan Wing Road wagon was observed a short distance from her home at a standstill with a male person standing on the roadway close to the front passenger door. Reports indicated that they appeared to be engaged in a conversation. Police said that as Mohammed's vehicle suddenly sped off, three loud explosions were heard and the assailant ran along the roadway and entered another vehicle which drove away. Residents found Mohammed slumped in the driver's seat. It appeared that her car had rolled into the wall after she was shot. Superintendent Sean Dilpol and Inspector Maharaj led investigators from the Homicide Bureau of Investigations Region 3. Investigators initially suspected a robbery as they could not find Mohammed's handbag containing her identification cards, but are also searching for other leads. They said it appeared her assailant stood outside the car and shot her. St. Margaret's police officers delivered her purse to her home, reporting that someone had found it in Claxton Bay and dropped it off at the police station. After learning of Mohammed's death, the officers collected it as evidence. Though reluctant to speak, Mohammed's brother Shane said a neighbor called him with news that his sister had been shot a short distance from their home. When he arrived on the scene, based on what he knew, no one had threatened to hurt Mohammed, and he could not think of any reason why someone wanted her dead. Relatives and friends surrounded their mother, Sita, at home while Mohammed's children stayed inside the house that she and her husband were building. Sita, a United National Congress UNC activist, was too distraught to speak. She sat mournfully outside her home as relatives prepared for a wake. Opposition Senator Jahanti Lachmedil, who lives in the community, reported that she had heard three explosions while engaging in a virtual court session but did not know there were gunshots. Lachmedil later saw news of the homicide in the community WhatsApp group chat. She said the neighborhood was traumatized as residents were used to petty crimes, but nothing as heinous as someone being erased. It seems as though there was someone who ambushed the deceased this morning. A young woman very sadly lost her life this morning going to work. Her family, of course, is very distraught, and the neighborhood is very traumatized because it is close to all of us where we live. It is a very quiet neighborhood, not something that we usually have, Lutch Medil said. Neighbors are now discussing crime in San Fernando and are considering paying for private security to patrol the streets with the increase in gun violence. Lutch Medil said the police presence in the community was not enough and it was time for that to change. Recalling the brazen double homicide at South Park Mall San Fernando last week, Lutch Medil said the level of gun violence was scaring residents. Personally, she felt frightened as the homicide happened close to her home. The prevalence of gun violence, it is becoming a little too prevalent, and I think the residents are now starting to feel like it is literally at their doorstep. That time of the morning, a lot of people would have been coming out to work and driving out. This car that these assailants would have been driving could have just passed by any of us coming in and out of our houses this morning, so it's scary said Lutch Medil. While Lutch Medil hopes all witnesses cooperate with the police, she said the country needs more CCTV cameras to help solve crimes quickly and get convictions. She said the UNC has been raising the issue of contracts for CCTV cameras and while the government delays, 
citizens are being erased. And while women continue to fall prey to homicides, Dutch Medeal said the government legislated the use of pepper spray, but women still do not have this protection. Councillor of Less Efforts West, La Romaine, Rishi Balram Singh, said criminals have no regard for lives. Balram Singh, who knows the family, said the government was spending 30 million on Carnival, but should allocate this money to the police service to increase its crime fighting capabilities. We are investigating the granting of firearm user licenses for those who are trying to protect themselves because the government is not doing it for them. Why don't we invest that time, energy, effort and resources in pulling firearms and guns off the streets that are taking the lives of innocent people? I call on the government to step up because Trinidad and Tobago is collapsing, Balram Singh said.